I really credit Iowa for playing a, a terrific first two and a third games. Um, I don't think that we were great, but you know, people always want to say, well, the team just played poorly. So often it's because of what the opponent does to you. They served us tough. They kept balls off the floor. Uh, they made us look like a fairly mediocre offensive team, even though we're offensively pretty good. But uh, And we, we'd certainly hurt ourselves a little bit. We made a few too many errors, and, uh, and that's never good. But I, I think you have to give credit, first of all, to Iowa for coming into this place uh, in the position they're in and still competing and playing hard and playing smart and being prepared to go after the right people and do the things that they did. So I thought they were very good. On our side, I think you have to give Amanda Miller a ton of credit. Um, hasn't played a, a great deal of volleyball uh, this season for our team, but every every week she practices as if she's going to be in the lineup from the get-go. And uh, she does a lot of things that we needed. We were, we were down, we were dead. We needed somebody that was going to bring some energy and give us a good serve and make some plays. She did all those things. And uh, um, you know we probably should be playing her a little bit more than we have been. Um, but she was, she was really good tonight. And then Katie Griffin was remarkable. Uh, I, I didn't think Val was bad, but uh, she was playing a lot like several other of our players, just, just kind of out there treading water. And uh, we know we've got, we can make a change in that position, so we brought in Katie. And Katie played well last week for a game uh, against uh, Northwestern, and has been really good in practice, and, and she won the match for us virtually, just turned it around with her ability to hit shots and mix shots up and use the block and find the open floor. And again, she brings energy. She brings enthusiasm. So two players off the bench that are known to give us some life came in and did that at a time that we really needed it. And then finally, I thought the two players that really just kept us in with their steady play of, of serving, passing, and defense were Blair Bashan and Emily Ehlers, the two seniors who were, you know, have one more home match left in their career now. I thought were, were really persistent in, in their play. Uh, they made it difficult as the match went on for uh, Iowa to put balls away. They're serving was tough and consistent. We didn't let them off the hook after scoring a couple points and then sailing one out of bounds or putting one in the net. Uh, they were really, really good, and I liked the looks on their faces from the start of the match to the very end. So really four players I thought made a big difference tonight. And, um, and I told our team afterwards, um, this is the first really suspect effort that we have had all season. We've lost three matches, uh, but we weren't that bad in those three we lost. We weren't perfect, but we weren't that bad. Uh, I thought for two and a third, games tonight, we were, we were pretty mediocre and Iowa was pretty good and fortunately uh, we were able to turn things around down the stretch and, and get a big win in the Big Ten Conference.